How did you get involved in comedy and, and who were your heroes when you were when you starting off? Um, I like comedy, I'm 71 now and uh, when I listened to comedy when I was like, a teenager and stuff, there was Hancock, you know, and then Steptoe and Son because Hancock left the writers and so they went on, who I met, Simpson and Gould, and I met those blokes, really nice blokes, one of them just died recently and they went on and said, well, okay, Hancock, go then, we'll write Steptoe and Son and that was a massive hit as well because <laughs> Hancock was quite troubled, you know, it was a very sad life, you know, that he took his own life at 43 or something like that, didn't he, in oh, Australia. Right, yeah, yeah, it's very oh. sad. But then the, uh, Monty Python, I quite like that, that was funny, there was something different about that. Yeah, I've always liked comedy, but I'd never really been a performer until my like, friends were saying, you, you should do this, you're funny, you're just... And I never really even thought about that, and then the punk thing came along and uh, it started to make you think, well, everyone can perform. You don't, it doesn't matter where you come from, you can perform. And I moved to London from Clapton-on-Sea, uh, has, which has an average rainfall of 19 inches a year, <laughs> as opposed to Manchester that had 52 inches. See, I remember that from school. Never forget those <laughs> Anyway, so I then uh, went to London and uh, supported some punk bands and... Uh, the Clash was one of them, which was a highlight, and then the alternative comedy came along. And so, so were you playing, playing it in the I band? I had a time? guitar, yeah, but I couldn't <laughs> sing. I, I liked John Cooper Clark and the Enduri, mm -hmm. and I wrote sort of like poems and did them, you know, chugged along with a chord and just did it. But I had no singing, it would be a talking singing, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But that worked, that worked for a while. But what really, then I did a comedy store one night, and I'd gone down well with that. And then I said, can I go back on without my guitar and do some stand-up? And I went on and did some stand-up. And uh, I knew as soon as I started talking, I thought, yeah, this is, this is, this is, not, not this, home, this is felt it? right. Yeah, this felt yeah. comfortable. So. Nice. And can I yeah. ask how you got into comedy and, and who your heroes were as well? Yeah, um, I got into comedy because a friend of mine ran a comedy night and one, I was, and he, one, one month he hadn't booked any acts or he, it was August, I think, so everyone was in Edinburgh. He came to me and said, will you come and do a set? And so I did. And it went well enough that I did it again and again and went, oh, that's something I'm not too bad at. Maybe I should do that. I was young enough that I hadn't yet found anything else I was any good at, so that became it, really. And uh, who were your heroes when you were oh, starting off? He, uh, I loved uh, Blackadder, Bill Hicks, Brian Laurie, really sort of standard early 90s yeah, stuff. Yeah, I watched actually. Black Adder, Black Adder that's yeah. all right, yeah. And then my hero, there's another hero, and I met him, and it turned out it wasn't good, it wasn't good. No, it was Max, Max Wall. Oh, it, funny Wall. When I saw, well, I never did the funny Wall, I was never physical, yeah. but the deadpan slowness and mm. facials and stuff like that, I, I saw from him, as, you don't have to rush this, because I'd seen Ben Elton, do stand up and he was so fast mm. and I thought I'm Very not doing way. it that's too quick mm. and mm. Uh, so and then I met him uh, Max Wall he, he did a one of his uh, he did one of the plays of Beckett it was Crap's last tape I think mm. excuse me I've just mm. drunk some water too quickly yeah. um, and Charlie uh, Charlie Hansen the producer said you meet Max afterwards you know and I got talking to him and he and I started talking about Max Wall. That was a mistake because him and, not Max Wall, Max Miller. Oh. Him and Max Miller apparently weren't yeah. a bit, you know, so. And, he, and I said, I'd just been watching, listening to a tape of Max Miller. And he said, Max Miller, what would you know about Max Miller? You weren't there. <laughs> and I said, well, I was there listening to it. I was, you yeah. know, transported back to the Hackney Empire, you know. <laughs> and oh God, that was it. It was, uh, and then I made a joke because I had a heart attack when I was 39 and I'd had a heart attack. And so he said, oh, heart attack's not funny. I said, well, it's my heart attack. If I want to make a joke about it, I will.